What's up guys, it's Brad from JVH3D here, back again with another Blender 3D shot breakdown. In this video I'm going to break down this shot and show you how to make some tracers inside of Blender 3D. I have to say this is a very simple effect that's widely used and can add a lot to your visual effects shots and uh, though it can be achieved easily inside of After Effects with some shape layers, you can sometimes notice the 2D or 2D nature of the objects when the tracer goes directly at the camera. When you do this effect in 3D, you don't have to worry about that because, well, it's 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 3D. So, anyway, here's the shot I'm going to break down today. This is some old footage from a chase scene, chase scene we made a few years ago. My friend here has a blaster on his wrist that he's shooting, and we're going to add some tracer rounds to sell the shot. So let's get to it. First thing I did inside of Blender was create the tracers. These were pretty effortless to make. I simply elongated some of the sides of a square and then extruded out the ends to a point. After creating my tracers, I brought my footage through the movie editor and overlaid it as my background for the scene. I uh, used the shot as a reference and then animated the three tracers along the x-axis, shooting from his wrist blaster past the camera. Um, depending on the distance the tracers are supposed to be traveling, you will need to adjust the animations start and end keyframe points for the scene. After I animated the tracers, I created an emission material for them. For the purpose of this shot, I created an emission material with a slight blue tint, um, but you could obviously use whatever color that fits your shot. Anyway, if we render this shot without any compositing, we get an image like this, which looks pretty fake. But as usual, that's when compositing comes in. So after adding some motion blur to the shot by checking the box in the render settings, I uh, went to the compositor to add some Gaussian blur, some glare streaks, and finally a col color grade to the final shot. Anyway, that's how you can easily add some tracer fire to your shots inside of Blender. Like and favorite this video if you thought it was helpful, and uh, check out the JBH Media Facebook page in the description below if you want to get the latest updates on short films and quick tips. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys next time. Place where they made these doctors, ladies and gentlemen. Sector 9.